All right, guys. Hey, welcome back to my channel. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a customization uh, pack. One is going to be the Metro Tile, and the one is going to be the Metro Glossy 2.0 pack. So uh, if you guys want, you can go ahead and be free to go ahead and download them. I'm going to go ahead and provide links and also some resources, too, just in case. Um, these are based off of the Metro UI interface, not necessarily Windows 8. So there's a big difference, like I said in the last video. I'm not going to do any theme customizations for Windows uh, for Windows 7 um, in regards to Windows 8 because it kind of you know knocks me off my game. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you a Metro UI theme that you guys can go ahead and download and apply to your Windows 7 desktop interface. And uh, yeah, so here we go. So when you guys go ahead and get the folder or the zip file you will see these two right here these are downloaders and what those downloaders will do is they will go ahead and download these depending on your architecture if you have a 64-bit or a 32-bit uh, operating system it would be best that you go ahead and uh, research that so you don't have to download both um, alright so when you go ahead and download them what you will find is the downloader go ahead and open it by double clicking on it Go ahead and run what will happen it'll go ahead and extract the necessary files um, the best advice I got for you right now is to go ahead and custom installation uncheck set all these just uncheck them press next and it'll go ahead and download All right, so it's done downloading. All you have to do is just press next and accept the terms and license agreement. Press next. Um, leave all those checked because they're all necessary. If you have a custom theme um, and if you're using that uh, 7STSP uh, program, it would be advised to go ahead and restore and go back to Windows 7 interface. Otherwise, you'll have some leftovers of your theme onto the Metro UI theme. So go ahead and uninstall what you have and then go ahead and go forward with this so what you want to go ahead and do is just press install it'll go ahead and prepare the installation once the installation is done it'll go ahead and exit um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a few pointers that's why I'm going ahead and walking through this with you guys so you guys know exactly what to do and don't get stuck so uh, it'll take a minute the Explorer bar which is right here will go ahead and disappear for a second that's not a problem it would be advised if you guys have any work open to go ahead and save it because it will recommend that you reboot your computer and I would recommend that too. However, if you do have work and it asks you to go ahead and reboot, um, I would suggest to go ahead and reboot later. But here's the thing that um, you won't be able to go ahead and get into the Explorer without my help. So anyways. Um, this right here pertains to me, it doesn't pertain to you, the boot updater for Windows 7. Um, I have a glitch in my computer, it doesn't pertain to you. So anyways, after everything is done, you go ahead and press next. And like I said, you would probably want to reboot later, or if you don't have anything that you need to save, go ahead and reboot now. Um, and like I said, if you do need to reboot later, go ahead and press Control, Alt, Delete on your keyboard. Task Manager will come up, press that. The task that you want to go ahead and run under file is press new task and you want to go ahead and type that in exploror.exe and press ok that's explorer.exe press ok and explorer will go ahead and come back so go ahead and save anything that you have restart your computer then what you want to do is the explorer um, the metro ui tile should be available now, if you want to go ahead and apply it to a different one, like the one that's over here, either the glossy Metro pack or the tile skin pack, um, go ahead and install those. Right click on the desktop, go to personalization. Down below, you'll see your packs available. Um, this is the one I have currently. Uh, this is the one that is available if you guys want to go ahead and try it out. Also, just so you guys know, as you can see the Explorer bar, it's a little discolored. It's actually black. If you guys want to go ahead and fully change the color, all you have to do is go to the Windows color, press that, press any color that you want, just say, for example, orange. 
I'll go ahead and go to the color intensity. I'll go to the advanced appearance settings. I will go ahead and cancel that. Uh, I'll go ahead and show color mixer. And I believe that's it. Yeah, so just go ahead and go to the max and you should be set. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys need any help, don't uh, hesitate to go ahead and leave a comment. I'll go ahead and reply to them as soon as I can. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. All right, take care.